Folate, also known as vitamin B9, is a group of cofactors that play a key role in amino acid and nucleotide metabolism as one carbon donors. Folate can be synthesized by bacteria from GTP, which is converted to dihydrotyroid diphosphate in many steps. Dihydrotyroid synthetase then condenses dihydrotyroid diphosphate with PABA, which stands for para-aminobenzoic acid, to form dihydrotyroid, which condenses with glutamate to form 7-A-dihydrofolate, abbreviated as FH2, by the enzyme dihydrofolate synthase. PABA is derived from erythrose 4-phosphate, abbreviated as E4P, from the pentose phosphate pathway, as well as phosphoenolpyruvate, abbreviated as PEP, from glycolysis. Erythrose 4-phosphate and phosphoenolpyruvate combines to form intermediates, Shikamate and chorismate, which also serves as precursors to aromatic amino acid biosynthesis, which I've covered in my previous video on amino acid metabolism. Chorismate is converted to PABA in several steps. The antibiotic sulfonamide disrupt bacterial folate synthesis by inhibiting dihydroopterase synthetase. Different forms of folates are interconvertible and serve as donors of one carbon units in a variety of metabolic reactions. As I cover in my video on nucleotide biosynthesis, Deoxy-UMP can be converted to deoxy-TMP by the enzyme thymidylate synthase, with N5-N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate serving as the methyl donor, producing 7-A-dihydrofolate, which is subsequently reduced to tetrahydrofolate by dihydrofolate reductase, coupling to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Serine hydroxymethyltransferase then converts tetrahydrofolate to N5-N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate, with serine as the methyl donor, producing glycine. This reaction requires the cofactor PLP, which stands for paradoxal phosphate. From these reactions, we see that serine serves as the ultimate methyl donor for thymidylate synthesis. Several anti-cancer drugs target DNA synthesis pathways, as it would have heavier impact on cancer cells. Methyltrexate and aminopterin inhibit dihydrofolate reductase, whereas 5-fluorouracil, abbreviated as 5-FU, inhibits thymidylate synthetase. The antibiotics trimethylprim selectively inhibits bacterial dihydrofolate reductase. N5-N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate can also be reduced to N5-methyl tetrahydrofolate by the enzyme N5-N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase, which is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. N5-methyl tetrahydrofolate plays an important role in methionine metabolism. Tetrahydrofolate is in the primary methyl donor in the majority of methylation reactions, which are catalyzed by the activated methyl cycle instead. First, methionine synthase converts homocysteine to methionine. In this reaction, the methyl group is first transferred from N5-methyl tetrahydrofolate to cobalamin derived from vitamin B12, forming tetrahydrofolate and methylcobalamin which donates the methyl group to homocysteine, producing methionine. Methionine can be converted to S-adenosylmethionine by the enzyme methionine adenosyl transferase, in which the nucleophilic sulfur atom of methionine attacks the 5 prime carbon of ribose moiety of ATP, releasing inorganic pyrophosphate and phosphate. The product S-adenosylmethionine, abbreviated as SAM, is a potent alkylating agent in many reactions catalyzed by methyl transferase including the conversion of norepinephrine to epinephrine, unacetylserotonin to melatonin, phosphatidylethanolamine to phosphatidylcholine, guanidinoacetate to creatine. I've covered these pathways in more details in my previous video on amino acid derivatives. Acetylcyomethionine also serves as a methyl donor to DNA, which is an important mechanism in the regulation of gene expression. Methyltransferases converts S-adenosylmethionine to S-adenosylhomocysteine, abbreviated as SA, which in turn undergo hydrolyzation reaction by hydrolase to release adenosine, regenerating homocysteine. N5-N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate can be further oxidized to N5-N10-methanyl tetrahydrofolate by the enzyme N5-N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate dehydrogenase, which is coupled to the reduction of NADP plus to NADPH. Cyclohydrolase can convert N5-N10-methanyl tetrahydrofolate to N10-formal tetrahydrofolate, which serves as a precursor in purine biosynthesis. Lastly, tetrahydrofolate also plays a role in histidine catabolism. First, histidine ammonia lyase cleaves off ammonium ion, producing uricinate, which undergoes hydration, hydrolysis, and transferase reactions, combining with tetrahydrofolate to produce glutamate and N5-formanino tetrahydrofolate, which can interconvert with N5-N10-methylneo tetrahydrofolate by the enzyme cyclodiaminase. 